Hello everyone and today I'll show you how to create this simple and easy anime effect in Blender 3D. Let's just hop right into it. Alright everybody, so let's just fire up Blender U real quick. And we are in EV right now, that's all fine. You can just check ambition, occlusion, bloom if you want to in screen space reflections. So now um, I'll just go into the render view and also turn this on transparent just so I can see the cube. So let's just create a new material for the cube. For that you can just go to shader editor over here or just switch to shading over there. So we can just make a very basic material. We will now need the node shader to RGB like that. Then we will need color ramp over here change this to constant just move this in the middle and we now can also add a mix rgb node first here you can see what actually happens so we get some sort of shading and we need this constant so it's a harsh line right as you can see it's a complete harsh line it's no smooth shading that's what the anime style is about right and so now we need to plug this in over here let's say our cube is red we can just take the color over here we need the red we'll make this black over here and i'll just add an invert node all right and now we'll just play around with it actually Let's just remove that. Now we'll just play around with it. So it's it's pretty pretty dark right now, right? So we, let's see. We can we can just take this red and just make it a bit darker. And um, for a cooler effect, you can add steps to that. So if you want steps for the shading, so not just one line, you can make make it like this you see so we get the step over here like a small step and now we need black outlines but i'll just i just would like to demo this on a sphere it's just nicer so let me just completely copy the material control c just remove the cube we'll just add a sphere mesh sphere shade smooth just create a new material just have that and now you can really see what's going on. And we can do something like this too. However you want it really and you can you can have as many steps as you want really. Like you can you can even if you want the shade of color to be something specific you can change the colors to that too which is really cool and i'll just leave it on black and uh, as i said like you can you can change around on the steps you can move this over here or however you want basically okay so now the next thing that's missing is black outline so that's pretty easy to do you can just add a layer weight node layer weight we just need another color ramp we'll just add a new one you can of course also duplicate this one and adjust it but I'll just take this, plug the Fresnel into the factor over here. If you have a normal map, you can just plug that in there too. Don't really change anything over there. We can define the whole thing with the color ramp. So let's just take a look how that looks. All right. So now that's how it looks. Basically, we want it maybe a bit thicker, kind of like this. I think it's cool. So now we need to mix these two together. So I'll just take this mix node. We will take this, put it in the factor. Let me just duplicate the invert node. I sometimes just add it because sometimes I get the inputs wrong. So that's why I do it. Let's just have black and plug this in at the top and let's view it. All right. Okay, so now as you can see, we have this black outline over here. The cool thing is um, if you want the specific color for the outline, you can just do that 
think let's say we want orange, red, pink, however you want it. The cool thing is like this will just always move. Like it's always on the outside. So that's pretty cool. And now we can see like if I if I move the light around, it changes. Have this just needs to load all in. <laughs> and for a nicer view, I'll just have this lighting set up over here. Okay, so let's just work on the headset. Um, you can just shift H and then you can remove the other stuff. So let's just focus on the headset. I think that will be a pretty nice demo for more uh, detailed models. So this is the headset we have over here and we'll just use the same setup as we had before. Shader to RGB right there. We need a color ramp. Let's just have it over here, plug the color in the factor, change it to constant, just move that somewhere in the middle. And we can add a mix RGB node already. But let's just first of all view how this is gonna look. Alright, so that's how it's gonna look. Now it's inverted, so we want the shadow to be from the bottom, right? So that's what it is right now. It has to be dark on the bottom. Um, that's great like that and now for the color instead of just adding a flat red let's say just instead of just adding a flat red that will be pretty boring we, we will plug in our D texture that the color texture right that's will be as you can see it's in the wrong place right so we'll just add invert in between and now it should be right now we can just have this black over here um, and you can also play around with blending over here but usually that's just all right like that I'll just have it on mix and then just work around with it so I'll just have the black at the bottom you can change the color again as I said how you want it and then we can add our steps in between there just like that Play around with how you want it. Just play around a little bit. Just like that, I think it's pretty cool. And I'll just move the black up a little bit too, maybe. Just so it's not so dark, like not completely black, maybe could be cool. All right, so now we have like different steps of shading actually. And from the far away, it looks pretty great. Now, the one thing that we're missing again is our black outline, right? We will add our layer node again. Layer, weight node, sorry, I forgot to say that. We can plug in our normal map as I mentioned. Sometimes it makes a difference, but not always. We'll add our color ramp over here. Choose a Fresnel in there. Change that to constant. Move it in the middle and let's see where, where that would be. Let's take a look. So that's pretty nice, right? We have, we get this cool outlines. Now we'll just mix that together, take a mix RGB node again, change the bottom value to black because that's what the outline is going to be. Move that in here and that is pretty nice. It's subtle but it's there. Um, now the problem is it's very inconsistent at the top for example like we still here miss a black outline, right? It's not there. And we can change how strong it is. But it's still not consistent, right? It's not over here on the outside. It's just sometimes, right? So there's a really cool effect we can do. And we just need to add a new material. So let's make a new material. Just change this to emission. And just make it black. And we will name the material outline material all right that's what it's going to be called and i'll just remove the tune effect just so we can view it easier all right so we need some outlines over here that are black over there over there so we'll go to modifier solidify so select the model go to solidify then flip the normals and just select high quality. And for materials, you need to go on the number one because 
that's the outline material so on the next slot if you overuse it then it's going to be pretty weird so i'll just go into the minus area it's going to be minus one and the one thing i forgot to mention is for the outline material select this and just check on back face calling that's gonna oh, um i mean on the outline material sorry back face calling and now you can see it and now we have this black outline everywhere right everywhere and yeah to modify how thick you want it to be just move it around now it's getting thicker 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 if it's too thick it's going to be pretty weird but i'll usually keep it like at minus 0 0.1 and that's like a solid black solid black line over there and the cool thing is like wherever you move it will be there and just for the sake of seeing how that looks i'll just make it pink like really stand out so you can see it and wherever we look we have the black like this pink outline which will be black of course if you just change it and of course if you change the color you can create like pretty cool effects i don't know like if something is burning maybe you can have it be being orange or reddish I, I have no idea that's like all up to you but now you can see we have this outline and you can do it on whatever and the cool thing is like this whole setup can just be duplicated on everything and you have full customization ability and as i said like you you can drag around all the stuff and just see what you like so yeah that's the end of the tutorial